Good day students. On this group, we're going to be going over an example on how to create functions um, using uh, limits. All right, so um, basically there are three, three ways we're going to be categorizing the limit um, equations that we will be provided with. We're going to be categorizing them into points, vertical asymptotes, and horizontal asymptotes, okay? So uh, the points we in solving problems like this are normally given um, in the form f of uh, a equals c, okay? So when you see something of this nature, you're basically graphing the point uh, a for the x coordinate and then c for the for the y coordinate, okay? So that's basically uh, what the point look like looks like. So um, how about vertical asymptotes? So for vertical asymptotes, <clears throat> you just have to remember what um, the definition of a vertical asymptote is. So if you have the limit as x approaches a, it could be from the left or right. If you have the limit as x approaches a constant of a function, if that is equal to plus or minus infinity, then this means that you have a vertical asymptote at um, x equals a, okay? So this statement implies a vertical asymptote, vertical asymptote, at x equals a, all right? And then the other class, uh, classification we're going to be looking at is going to help us uh, generate a function using limits um, are the horizontal asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes. All right, so when do we have horizontal asymptotes? Well, if you take the limit as x approaches plus or minus infinity of a function as equal to some uh, constant c, then that implies that you have a horizontal asymptote. And um, y equals c is a horizontal asymptote. So y equals c is a horizontal asymptote. All right, so this is basically what is going to guide the construction um, of our of our of our function. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look, write down the instructions for question number one. So, so the instructions are to sketch sketch the graph sketch the graph of an example. of a function that that satisfies that satisfies all of the given conditions okay all the given conditions so you're creating an example it's not exhaustive there are multiple answers that could satisfy uh, the conditions that are given, but your task is to uh, sketch a graph of at least one example that satisfies the um, the given conditions. Okay, so for number one, we have the following limits: limit as x approaches three of the function is equal to infinity, and then the limit as x approaches negative two from the left of the function is equal to negative infinity, the limit as x approaches negative two from the right of the function is equal to infinity, okay? And then we also have the limit as x approaches infinity of the function is equal to one, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function is equal to negative one, and you have the statement that f of zero equals one. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at all those limits. Let's see if we can uh, classify them into the respective uh, um, areas or categories using points, vertical asymptotes, and horizontal asymptotes. Now, whenever you're approaching a, um, a constant value and the limit, the function goes to infinity or negative infinity. In that, that value, at that value, you're going to be having a 
uh, vertical asymptotes, okay? So if you look at the, uh, this examples right here, the first three all are vertical asymptotes. We have vertical asymptotes there because um, they all go to infinity or negative infinity as x approaches a, a constant, okay? So for, let's leave it. So this one right here, let's see how we can categorize them. For all these three, we have um, this are vertical asymptotes. So I'll put that arrow right there. So these are vertical, vertical asymptotes. All right, because they all go to infinity or negative infinity as x approaches a constant. Now, if you take a look at these two, what conditions do they satisfy? As x approaches negative infinity or infinity, you have your horizontal asymptotes. So these two are your horizontal asymptotes. Okay, so these are your horizontal, horizontal asymptotes. All right, you can notice that at infinity to the right is one, to the left is negative one. Now, what on earth is this? F of zero equals one? Well, this right here is simply a point. Okay, the point is zero comma one. All right, now that we have all this information, we can go ahead and sketch our graph. So draw your uh, y-axis and then draw your um, x-axis. All right, we have a vertical asymptote at one and three, so let's at a negative two and three, so let's calibrate it this way. One, two, three. This is positive three. And in the other direction, negative one and negative two. So this is negative two, this is negative one. All right, so we have a vertical asymptote, two vertical asymptotes. The first one is at negative two, and then the other one is at uh, three. Okay. All right. Now let's label our, our coordinates, our axis too, so we don't get confused. This is f of x, and this is x. All right. So we know that up here, this is infinity. This is negative infinity for the vertical asymptotes, and then for the x, this is infinity right here, and this is negative infinity. You go to the end. Okay. Now, um, for three, we notice you're approaching three from both sides, right? So this side is three from the right, and this is three from the left. This is negative two from the right, and this is negative two from the left, okay? So in this problem, as you're approaching uh, three from both directions, your function is going to infinity. So I'm gonna, st let's start from the center. So we have the point, what point is this? This is the point uh, zero comma one. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and grab that point, zero, comma, let's say this is one, two, three, four, five. So zero, comma, one is right here. All right, so there goes the point. Now, as you approach um, three from the right, from the left, the function goes to infinity. So we have it going in this direction, approaches your vertical asymptote, and then it curves, shoots up like this. Okay, when you're approaching three from the right, it also goes to infinity, so it's going to be coming down in this direction. But uh, let's go ahead and also sketch our horizontal asymptotes. When you're going to infinity, the function was approaching one, so towards the right side right here, we have a horizontal asymptote at one. So let me bring that down. So as the function goes towards the end, it's going to be approaching this horizontal asymptote. And at the left-hand side, you have a, a horizontal asymptote at negative 1. So let's put negative 1 over there. So let me scroll up and show you what I'm talking about. So these are your horizontal asymptotes. On the right side, your horizontal asymptote is 1. So like the one, this line right here, 1. And on the left side, it's negative 1. Okay, if they were the same, I would have just made one asymptote across the entire coordinate system. But since you're different, I just kept them to their areas. All right. So now this function, we start from zero. It approaches this vertical asymptote. From the right, as it approaches three, from the right, it also goes to infinity. But where does it go as it approaches infinity? It, it approach, as it approaches infinity, it approaches, the function approaches one as x approaches infinity. So you're gonna go, it's gonna look something like this. 
and then the right the limit towards the right there you go all right so it goes in that in that uh, orientation okay now let's uh, shift our attention to the negative region of our coordinate system so it kind of goes close to the asymptote um here what's the behavior as the function approaches negative two from the right side as x approaches negative two from the right the function hits towards infinity so to make that happen all we just do is we're just going to curve this up like this and it heads towards infinity all right let's try that again so look something like this all right how about on the left side of negative 2? As the function approaches negative 2 from the left, the function tends towards negative infinity. It shifts downwards as it go, approaches this vertical asymptote from the left. So it's going to look something like this, downwards. And then as it approaches negative infinity, as x approaches negative infinity, the function approaches negative 1. So that's the uh, other horizontal asymptote. So it goes something like this, heads towards that, and then it curves. Okay, let's try that again. Do that. All right, so that's what the function looks like. So let's go over the uh, problem again and make sure our uh, uh, answer matches with the function. So if you read the problem, it says as x approaches 3 from both sides, it goes to infinity. So we see that's the case right here. As you're approaching 3 from the left and the right, the function is headed upwards towards your vertical asymptote. And then and then um, as x is approaching negative 2 from the left, it's heading towards negative infinity. You see how it heads downwards from the left. <clears throat> as x approaches um, <clears throat> negative 2 from the right, you see how the function tends towards infinity. And then as x approaches um, infinity, the function approaches 1. And then as x approaches negative infinity, the function approaches negative 1. Okay, so let, let me just highlight, write down the different pieces and how they fit in. So this area right here, this illustrates the fact that the limit as x approaches um, infinity of the function is equal to 1. All right, that's what this portion shows. And then this portion right here shows that the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of the function is equal to infinity. And uh, this is the left-hand limit. It tells you that the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of the function is also infinity. All right, that's what this portion tells you. This tells you about the right end, okay? And then over here, this piece tells us, what does this piece tell us? It tells us that the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of the function, the function tends towards infinity, okay? And in this portion, the left side of our vertical asymptote tells us that the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of the function is equal to negative infinity. All right. And in this last piece right here, it tells us that um, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function is equal to negative one and this is your uh horizontal asymptote this is one of your two horizontal asymptotes okay so hopefully this annotation helps you see how it's constructed but this is not the only solution this is just an example of a, uh, a curve that uh, a graph that satisfies um, all the three conditions uh, all the six conditions mentioned earlier all right so there you have it So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to my channel um, and please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. You can always click like if you liked it. Uh, and also feel free to share it with um, your friends by your social networking program. Thanks again for watching uh, and have a wonderful day.